What's up, everybody? Welcome back to Team Fish Knuckles YouTube channel. Today is another episode of Legacy Wednesday, and today we are covering Toll Draw, which I personally think is one of the strongest decks currently right now because it can easily take out EX Pokemon while it struggles to take down your deck and take six price cards. Now, let's go over the deck and let's see why it's such a strong contender. Well, your main attacker is going to be this Trubbish. It has the attack Toll Drop. That's why the deck's called Tool Drop. Uh, this attack does 20 damage time. Uh, does 20 damage for each Pokemon tool attached to each Pokemon to play both yours and your opponents. So once there's nine in play, you can do 180 damage with Trubbish. Now you might be saying nine tools. That's a lot, but Trubbish does have a friend, and that is Siglev. Siglev has the ability Toolbox, which it makes it where it can lie. it's allowed to have four tools attached to it, which is really, really nice. So that's four on your side, and then you can have two Siglevs out with four tools each, which is eight. And then you have the other, what, three, four Pokemon out on play, which could have tools as well. And you can see why this deck can start doing heavy damage with the Strubbish. Now, the deck does play a 2-2 Maskrin. Because of the tool reversal, that's awesome you like during your turn. Before you attack, you may put a tool card attached to one of your Pokemon back into... Oh, yeah, you can just tool, return a tool back into your hand. And this way, you can put to tools down anywhere you want to. And then you can pick them up later on to reuse them any way you want to, which is really, really nice. The deck also plays a 2-2 Electrode. Uh, Electrode has a really cool ability, Magnetic Draw. What's during your turn before you attack? You may draw cards. You have four cards in your hand. And this is going to help you reel through your hand really easily, and I do like like Electrode as well because it helps you draw through your deck so quickly because you have so many tools you're gonna to put them down use magnet draw draw to have four cards in your hand and keep the party going so that's all the Pokemon you're gonna play in the deck no EXs you could maybe play Jirachi if you're scared but I think this is gonna be fine as is uh, the deck plays three bicycle once again to help you draw through your deck fairly quickly which is really nice uh, the deck plays four junk armor to reuse trainer cards and you can also reuse tool cards with the junk armor as well but you do have to discard two cards from your hand uh for love ball we can search out any pokemon or deck with this card because everybody does have 90 hp or less which is really nice one catcher to flip a coin if heads switch to bench Pokemon with your opponent's active, uh, which is really nice. You can bring e bring an EX off the bench to take up two prize card knockout, which is really, really nice. Every opponent is using a non-EX attacker. Two random receiver to help consistency to help find a supporter card. And also you can junk arm four random receiver, which is like junk arm for a supporter card, because you know you're going to hit one. Uh, one super rod to shelf back in, three combination of Pokemon or energies. Uh, the deck plays 3N and 4 Oak. No Juniper. I really don't like Juniper that much in this deck because you don't want to discard tool cards. But with Oak and Bike Electrode, you have enough draw cards to draw through your deck fairly easily. And now uh, here's come tools. All right, so you play 3 EXP share, which is really, really nice. Uh, this is going to help you uh, kind of manipulate your energies, uh, keep your energies on the field. When your active Pokemon is knocked out by damage from an attack, you may move one basic energy card that was attached to that Pokemon to the Pokemon this card is attached to. Now, remember, well, I don't know if I pointed this out, but Trubbish has two energies to attack. You need a Psychic and a Color, so you're not attacking until turn two. And if turn two, you attack with your Trubbish, and your opponent knocks out your active, and you don't have EXP shared down, well... You have to wait another two turns before you can attack, which is the only downside of Trub or Tool Drop. At least in the new days, we do have Dimension Valley, so you only need a Psychic Energy, but right now, you do have to have a Psychic and a Colors to attack, which is kind of annoying sometimes. Uh, three Flowstone to get Pokemon for your treat. One Life Dew, which is really nice, because like I said earlier, you can Junk Arm for a Life Dew, and this makes it where your opponent does take w it takes one less prize card, which means they take no prize card off your Trubbish, which is really nice. Uh, three Rescue Scarf, which returns the Trubbish back into your hand. So not only are we cycling uh, energies, we're cycling Trubbishes because Rescue Scarf does return it back into your hand, but once again, your, opponent, your Pokemon has to be knocked out by an opponent's attack. Uh, for Silver Ringle, so that way you do 30 more damage to an active EX Pokemon. Uh, this means if you have, what, 8 in play, you do 160. With the Silver Ringle, you do 190, which is really, really nice. Uh, 2 Silver Mirror to help out against Plasma decks. Most likely Weavile. Uh, Silver Mirror makes it where uh, Plasma Pokemon cannot hurt your Pokemon this card's attached to. So Weavile cannot hurt your Trubbish. Now, 
Those decks do play Toll Scrapper, but you play two Silver Mirror and four Junk Arm, so you should eventually just win that war and make it where they can't attack you. The only downside is they probably play Sableye, so they can Junk Hunt, but if they are Junk Hunt, you are taking a knockout, which is really, really nice. And seven Psychic Energy. The deck is pretty much straightforward. You get a bunch of tools down to play, use Trubbish, use Tool Drop, and take huge knockouts. And, uh, Right now, the two biggest decks in play is like Genesect and Darkrai, which this deck kind of destroys. Uh, the only downside is if your opponent does get that Garboder, you can't really take a knockout uh, because it becomes weird. Uh, you can have you can't have multiple tools on your Siglyph, but hopefully you can maybe catch it up and knock it out. Uh, Garboder is weak to Psychic as well, so Trubbish doesn't need that many tools to play to take a knockout, which is really nice. Uh, but a lot of the Dark Arts decks, decks are playing tr are playing Garboda right now, which is really cool. But hopefully you enjoy this deck breakdown. It is This deck is a lot of fun. Uh, I mean, you play Bicycles, Electrode, uh, Junk Arm to reuse Bicycle, Junk Arm to reuse Tools, put down a bunch of Tools, and start hitting Tools off for a bunch of damage. But hopefully you enjoy this deck introduction, and let's see the deck in action right now. Alright, putting it's Davis 3, 4, 4, playing at all dark decks. This is obviously going to be dark, right? Ooh, it could be Weavile, but no, Weavile plays eggs. So there's no way that could be it. Uh, we won the coin flip, so that's great, uh, because we need a turn to attach two energies, but dark, right, can attack us on the first turn, and alright, so we got a Voltorb, uh, we got an energy, hmm... Uh, we got Oak and an N. I guess I'd probably be obligated to play the Oak. I am going to play the Random Receiver first. And if my opponent puts down another Pokemon, I'll probably try to catch it up. Just so they're not in our deck anymore, we can Junk Arm from later. Uh, let's see what they decide to do. It looks like they might have another Pokemon. And if they put it down, I am going to try to catch it up regardless of what it is. So that way, okay, it looks like they're not going to put it down. That's unfortunate for us, but come on. Top deck Trubbish and... Oh, oh my goodness. So we get a Trubbish, Dark Energy... I mean, it's like energy, sorry, random receiver. Grab the end, and we're just going to play the Oak. We're not going to play the end. We're going to save that for later. Uh, both of them get six cards, but don't know what my opponent has. Okay, there's another Voltorb. And Silver Mirror on this Voltorb, and we will just end our turn. I guess we could have put on the Trubbish. That probably would have been smarter because they do have an absolutely active spot. But uh, we'll see what happens. I kind of want to put a, um, a Silver Bang on this guy instead. So there's an Ultra Blood discarding Double Dark. I imagine this will get a Keldeo. Oh, he doesn't play Keldeo. We know that for sure. There's a Zora coming to his hand. Okay. We know he has another Pokemon in his hand as well. Oh, there's a Random Receiver. And looks like they are going to get a Juniper. Yeah, they're playing Dark Rise, Zorg, Absol. Okay. Um, will my opponent attack this turn or not is the question. Uh, there's a Dark Patch. Pretty good Dark Energy on the Zora. We could see an Ascension to get out of Zorg. There's a Dark Energy. Escape Rope. Um, he can do 20 damage, which is not that scary. Alright, so yeah, what's we'll up this guy? I guess he didn't have another Pokemon to stand. I thought he did, but it looks like he doesn't. And we'll see a Juniper. Uh, yeah, I mean, oh man, if he somehow knocks us out with this Absol, that'd be really funny. Uh, that might have been a misplay. Uh, there's Zora coming down. Dark Art coming down to give everybody free retreat. They have a Dark Energy attached. But I mean, he already attached and already used a Dark Patch. There's another Dark Patch. Oh my goodness, if he takes a knockout this turn. Oh, okay, Energy on Dark Art, that's fine. Dark Claw on the active, and we'll see Ascension to get out of Zark. Now, we can knock out the Zark this turn uh, pretty easily. It has, what, 100 HP. Uh, they have We have two tools down, and there is a Surskit. So, we'll put Surskit down, put a Psychic Energy on the active, and we'll go for it in. All right, can we find another Trubbish? Can we find an Electrode? All right, so we can get a bunch of stuff down. We can Love Ball. Or a uh, Electrode. Oh, we did prize an Electrode, unfortunately. So grab an Electrode. Uh, put down the Electrode. Put down the uh, Muscle Band. Put down the Flow Stone. Put down a Flow Stone. We'll Electrode for two. And hopefully we get something good off these two cards. And a Cer Okay, do we have... Oh, we don't have a... Oh, man, we had a Bicycle in our hand. We might be okay. But 20, 40, 60, 80, uh, 100... So we need to put down a Surskit. Oh, we could... Okay, no, let's Junk Arm. Discarding 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. It has 100 HP. Yeah. So let's discard both of these. We will... Oh, probably... Sh I don't know what we should have kept. Uh, We're grabbing the Love Ball. Sorry, I forgot what we were grabbing for a second. I'm uh, going to grab the Love Ball. And with the Love Ball, we're going to get out a Siglyph. There it is. Siglyph. All right. So grab the Siglyph. 
put down the Siglyph, and we will put a Flustone on it. And we'll take a knockout turn one. Uh, there's six tools in play, so Tool Drop will do 100 damage exactly. Yep, there we go. So we'll go down to five prize cards. And the question is, can our opponent take a knockout this turn? We'll get a random receiver, which is great. Uh, we'll see a Zora coming to active spot. Now, can our opponent get double Dark Patch uh, energy attachment? Pretty crazy, but it, it might happen. There's a Dark Patch number one. Going to the Dark Eye, okay. Now, if opponent, okay, there's another Dark Eye. And does he have a switch? There's a Rock Guard. Going to the Dark Eye. Crushing Hammer. It tells, okay. Uh, and, alright, I like that. Alright, so no switch, no escape rope just yet. We're going to end down to five, which is okay with me. There's a Psychic. Tra okay, that's good. That's good. There's a Love Ball. Going to get maybe another Zora out. Okay, Sableye. Okay. We're pl definitely playing against like an unconventional kind of dark deck. Uh, that's for sure. Pass onto our turn, which I do like. Uh, we get down a Trubbish. We can put down the Psychic Energy. We get Love Ball for a Masquerade. And that way we can start moving around the Tolls any way we want to. So we can serve the uh, the Silver Bangle, put down the Masquerade, and we will go uh, 3, 4, 5, so let's just play an Oak, that seems okay. Uh, going to shuffle our hands to deck and get 6 cards. We're looking for a Catcher, uh, we don't see one yet. We'll use a Random Receiver. Uh, we'll grab the Oak for the next turn, okay. We'll put a Silver Bangle down, we will... Let's see, we could Junk Arm um, to discard... Yeah, so this Junk Arm, discard a Psychic, and a Trubbish. Yeah, like I said, I'm looking for a Catcher. Uh, we'll grab a Silver Wrangle. We'll put a Silver Wrangle down onto the Siglyph. We will Electrode first for two. So there's one, there's two, K, okay, no, none yet. Uh, we could Junk Arm to grab a random receiver. So let's do those Junk Arm. To discard the oak and the masquerade, and with this, we'll grab a random receiver. Okay, we will bike for three, and let's see, can we find this catcher or not? And no catcher, unfortunately. All right, so we are going to use a uh, masquerade, use a tool reversal, uh, pick up the silver wrangle, put it on the bench guy. Do we have enough for a knockout? Yeah, we should. I don't know what I'm talking about. Uh, so we'll put a silver ring on this guy. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Uh, which will do 100 and 140. Yeah, 140. We'll go down to four price cards. Now, the rock guard is kind of scary. I'm not going to lie. Especially if my opponent does Night Spear, put 30 on a Trubbish. So maybe Discard and Trubbish might have been the misplay. Uh, but hopefully we have another one left. Let's see what my opponent decides to do. Um, okay. Uh, this can got to have four tools on it. So we can put one more silver ring on this guy. Uh, we just got to find another Trubbish, basically. How many? Let's see. Oh, three Junk Arms are down. There's a Tool Scrapper coming down. And it's probably discard... Uh, probably just double Silver Mirrors. That's what I would dis... Or div silver Wrangles. That's what I would probably discard if I was my opponent. There's one. There's two. Okay. And now, can we get enough, energy, enough Tools in play to knock out the active? There's a Dark Energy going on that guy. And there's a Night Spear. Going to do 90. Probably 30 to this Trubbish. So that way, if we attack the Dark Party, we'll get knocked, we'll get knocked out as well. Because there's a Rock Guard attached to it. So this is going to be a very weird uh, situation that's fixing to happen. Okay, never mind. The 30 goes to the uh, Voltorb. Very strange. Okay, so we'll sit at the Voltorb. I mean, the Electrode. Alright, on to our turn. I guess my opponent doesn't think we get a knockout this turn. Um, But let's see. We have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 140, minus 20, 120, 40, 50, 70. Okay, so we need one pull down. So we're going to jump. Wait for it. Wait for it. My computer's, hold on, wait for it, wait for my computer to, oh, oh, are we back yet? Sorry, wait for it, okay, we're good, we're back. So let's Junk Arm, discard the Random Receiver and the Siglyph. With this, we're going to Love a Ball. How many EXP shares do we have in here? We have no EXP shares in our deck. Perfect, okay, so grab a Love Ball. Uh, we'll grab the Love Ball for another Trubbish. Oh, there's an ESP share right there. I don't know why. I did. Oh, we were junk army. That's why. Uh, so grab this, this Trubbish. Uh, put down the Trubbish. Put a Silver Mirror on this guy. We'll put a Psychic Energy to this guy. And we will Magnet it. Draw 4, 3. Can we find an EXP share or not? Okay, there's a Life Dew. We'll attach that to uh, the Trubbish, I guess. And we'll go for an Oak. We're still looking for an EXP share. That is what we need right now. 
And there's an EXP share, which is great. Okay, so we're going to EXP share um, this guy. We will use Maskerin, use the turf, Tool Reversal, pick up the Life Dew. Uh, we'll press, we'll pick up this thing as well. We'll press Done. We will put a Silver Ring on this guy. So we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 180. So we have to put a EXP share. Let's see, hold on. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 180 minus 20, 160 plus this should be a knockout. We'll EXP share this guy. We will free retreat into this guy and we will tool drop. Can we put another thing down? We can't. We'll put a rescue scarf down. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. I guess we could switch that for a life do maybe. Uh, let's just use tool drop right now. We'll keep the life do just in case. Uh, so we'll tool drop for the knockout. Should do like 200. A 210, sorry. So Rock Guard hitting, hitting us for 60. We'll go down to 3. Oh, we got a 2, sorry. So there is a Electrode and a Bicycle. Okay, so what we can do next turn is we can Super Rod Shovel Trubbish just back into our deck. Uh, we can maybe get some Psychic Energies. We can move the uh, the EXP share. How many... How many junk... We've played 4 Junk Arms already, but no Catcher hasn't played either. So we could maybe catch this turn. There's an Ultra Ball, Discard, an EXP... Uh, an Energy Switch, and a Color. It's going to get a Sableye, okay. We could knock out the Dark Ride this turn. There's a Sableye coming down. There's an Ant. So they're going to end us down to two, but we do have Electrode. We could draw to the end of the Electrode. If we draw to the Catcher, we might be okay. They could go for a Confuse Ray to try to knock us out. Uh, we got an EF here and a Rescue Scarf. Both of these we can't put down because our we have an, all of our tools are in play. And there's a Catcher. Let's see what opponent decides to bring up. And it's a Heads, okay. So they're going to bring up the other Trubbish, okay. Which is very confusing. Uh, we can use Masking to pick up a tool, so it doesn't really matter if they catch up somebody. There's a Dark Patch. Pretty good Dark Energy on this Dark Rai. And we'll probably see a Junk Hunt. Okay. So we're going to see my opponent take two item cards into their hand. Let's see what they decide to get. Oh, man. Okay, if we get this catcher and get ahead, so we can just win. Bring up this Dark Rai or the other Dark Rai. There's double Dark Patch going into their hand. Only to our turn. Let's see what happens. There is a Electro. So put down Electro. We will do the first Electrode for two. So Magnet a draw for two. What do we get? And there's an N in the end. All right, so play the first in. First in, go. All right, we'll show, show for our hand into deck. Yes, that's fine. We'll get two cards. We're looking for this catcher. I don't think we've played it yet. There's a bike and a Psychic Energy. Those are two good cards to see. Uh, so put the Psychic Energy on the active. We will bike for four. All right, so we can love ball for nothing. Is is the is the catcher in the deck? It is in the deck. Okay, so we'll, we'll love ball for nothing. We will love ball for nothing. Okay, we will electrode for two. Can we hit the catcher or not? And if we hit the catcher, do we flip ahead? And there's a super odd. Okay, that's not what we need. All right, so we're going to tool reversal. Pick up the exp share. Um, pick up a floatstone. All right, we'll press done. We will float stone the active. Uh, free retreat into the Trubbish. Put down a Silver Bangle. Um, so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 180, which is a knockout. I'm actually going to uh, Tour Reversal pick up this uh, Silver Bangle. Pick up the Plasma. Uh, yeah, pick up the Silver Mirror. Put the Silver Mirror on the active. Um, let's see. Uh, okay, no, we need to use we need to use tour reversal one more time. Hold on a sec. I, I need to do this real quick. So tour reversal, pick up the floodstone, uh, pick up the exp share. We will put the exp share. Oh, we already have one in our hand. Okay, so put one here. Put one here. Put a floodstone on the electrode, and yeah, I think that's the best options we could do right there. Oh wait, do we? Uh, no. Wait, yeah, yeah. What we could do? Okay, one more time. I Hold up. Oh, oh, wait for it. Trying to click it. Trying to click it. All right, tool reversal. I don't know why I put the, the EXP share. We'll pick up the EXP share. Put the EXP share here. We can press done. Move the EXP share to the signal lift. And that way, if he gets knocked out, we can move the two energies. This guy, cut a wing. Maybe knock out the save line for the last prize card. Uh, We'll full stone this guy. And now we'll tool drop. I know that was a little bit confusing, but I think that was the best route to go. We'll go down to one price card. We'll do 180 damage. We'll go down to one. Okay. 
There is a silver ring, all right. And my opponent will probably send up. I don't know what he can send up really, because if I mean he can catch dark double dark patch, but he needs a catcher as well. If he can knock out both these guys, he might be able to win the game. But then we can use Siglev to cut a win to knock out the Sableye. So we'll see what happens. There's the victory train coming out. My opponent realizes he can't win the game. Uh, he could maybe knock out the Trubbish. Uh, but I think we would have had enough tools in play to take a knockout. Maybe not. Uh, my computer's freezing up again. I'm sorry about that. There we go. So we get a prize well. Get in the mystery prize. But we'll see one more game with the deck here in a second. We saw a lot of stuff with that deck, but my computer is kind of freezing. It's kind of annoying. But we'll see what happens in the next game. All right, but he gets Chaos Beat playing a Dragon Fire and a Fighting Deck. Now, I'm not sure what kind of combination this is, but we'll see what happens. And they call in the coin flip, and we lost the coin flip, so we'll be going second. So that means we can't attack turn one because, you know, we need two energies on our Trubbishes. But wow, this is a pretty good turn one. My opponent has no base Pokemon. We're going to put down a uh, Trubbish, Siglev, Voltorb, Surskit. It's only downside right now is we don't have a bike. Okay, so we see, uh, oh, it's a Garchomp deck. All right, so this is going to be interesting because uh, it's going to be 9EXs versus 9EXs. So they're going to draw some cards. It looks like they did get somebody out. But uh, like I said, it's going to be interesting. Can we hit a Psychic Energy? Can we hit a bike? Uh, yes, we'll draw for the Mulligan. There is another Voltorb. We won't put that down right now. And there is a Land Doors. Alrighty. My opponent still can't attack us turn one. But the Love Ball is going to get out a Gibble. Okay. <clears throat> now, let's see. Can the Land Doors knock us out turn two? Not really. Uh, Hammerhead does 30. With, I don't even think Muspin even Yeah, Muspin doesn't exist. There's a Psychic Energy. Okay. Um. So, I'm going to Love Ball. And with the love ball, I'm going to grab a Trubbish. Yeah, we'll grab a Trubbish. Put a Trubbish down on this guy. We will Psych Energy the bench just in case he gets like a rare kitty Garchomp and somehow knocks us out. I'd rather be safe than sorry. Put a Rescue Scarf on the active and we will end our turn. Now, the only downside is we did prize two Masquerades. We won't be able to pick up that Rescue Scarf, but hopefully it'll be okay. There's a Gibble coming out. Oh, I mean, Gabite coming out. There's a Dragon Call. Gonna search for another Dragon Pokemon. Let's see what he decides to get. There's another Gibble coming out into play. All right, Gibble coming down. Fighting Energy is the active, and we'll see a Hammerhead for 30. And where does the other 30 go to? That is the real question. Looks like it's going to go into the Voltorb, but we will evolve the Voltorb this turn. There is a Bicycle, kind of. No, we could bike for a couple. All right, we can Love Ball. For a Voltorb, I mean, for an Electrode, okay. Uh, Masquerade's in here as well, which is great. So grab the Electrode. Uh, put down the Electrode. We will Random Receiver. And looks like we're going to grab the Fresh Oaks New Theory, which is fine. We're going to actually Magnetic Draw for... No, do we Magnetic Draw right now, or do we hold it? Because if we Magnetic Draw, we can guarantee the Masquerade right now. Um, but let's just play Oak first. Let's see what happens. Uh, so we'll Oak draw some new cards. Alright, so we get the Flowstone. Oh, man, this hand's... Oh, man, okay. So we got a Catcher, Flowstone, Random Receiver. Let's go put on the Trubbish. We can put a uh, Flowstone on the Siglev. Uh, we can Catcher, hopefully hit Tails. Okay. Uh, we will Magnetic Draw for one. Can we hit a Random Receiver? And Okay, there's a Bike. So a Bike for one. There's a Psychic Energy, okay. And I guess we'll Psychic Energy the Bench guy. And we'll just end our turn. All right. So it's my opponent's turn. We not having the best of starts, but it's gonna be okay. My opponent could use a land's judgment for the knockout. And they don't have to discard the energies. Uh, looks like they are gonna get bite out. I guess I should have put a psychic energy on this guy. Um, yeah, that probably would have been a little bit better. But let's see what happens. My opponent's gonna use another dragon call. So use a dragon call to get a, a goodbye. Gonna dragon call again to get another gibble out. So we're gonna have a goodbye, goodbye, gibble coming online. All right. There's a Garchomp coming down. And there's a Verbank to the gym coming down. So it seems like opponent does play Verbank and Laser. So we're going to see Oak. Going to show off the hand into deck. Draw set six new cards. And let's see what they decide to do. Uh, we have an Oak for next turn regardless. Uh, we could keep. We could play the Random Receiver. Random Receiver. There's a Fighting Energy going to Garchomp. All right. And there we see a Hammerhead. Not taking the knockout. Doing 30. And let's see. Where does the other 30 go? It looks like it is going to go on the Trubbish with the two energies. All right, on to our turn, we get a Silver Bangle. So we're going to Silver Bangle this guy. Um, 
I think we're gonna rant, uh, we're gonna oak first, and let's see what we draw into. We could draw into, like, junk arms and other stuff. Okay, there's a silver mirror. We could put the, uh, this guy down. Okay, so we can, let's see. We can silver mirror, uh, one of these guys. We can silver angle this guy. We can psych energy this guy. We can junk arm, discard one and two. And I think this, we're gonna get a... We're gonna Maskerin. Yeah, we need to get a Maskerin out, so we'll get the Love Ball. Love Ball for the Maskerin, okay. So we're grabbing Maskerin. Let's see, we have one, uh, two, three, four, five. Uh, so we're doing 130 right now. So we need to hit a couple tools off. There's Electrode. Don't let me down. Magnetic draw. And all right. So still one, two, three, four, five, six. We'll have six tools in play. Uh, which is still not a knockout. We'll use the tool reversal. Pick up the rescue scarf. Pick up the floatstone. We'll press done. Uh, we'll floatstone the active. Free retreat into the other Trevish. And we're going to use the tool reversal one more time. We're going to pick up the floatstone. We'll pick up the silver bangle. Um, yeah, that's his fine. We'll pick up those. We'll press done. We're going to Rescue Scarf this guy. We are going to EXP Share this guy. We are going to Silver Wrangle. And we will Float Stone. So, one, two, three, four, five, six. Uh, yeah, we'll be, we'll be short, just barely. So, Toll Drop, not taking a knockout. We'll barely miss it. We're doing a 250. We're one Toll short of taking. No, we were two Toll short. Two uh, Tolls short of taking a knockout. There we see a Dragon Call. Gonna search for a dragon Pokemon, and there's another guy by coming down. My opponent's gonna take two prize cards this turn, which is gonna be kind of, kind of unfortunate. Uh, they'll knock out the Trevish, knock out the other Trevish. There's another Dragon Call coming down. All right, there's a Garchomp coming down, but maybe we'll be okay. I'm not sure. We see a Garchomp coming down, okay. And let's see what my opponent decides to do. There's a Junk Arm discarding uh, a Silver Ring on the Juniper, and let's see what my opponent opts to get. Uh, there's a Love Ball. Probably going to get another Gabite down, maybe? Maybe a Swablu. Uh, okay, there's a course. Got five, six, seven, eight. Okay, uh, we'll take a knockout this turn for sure. And then Landers, there's a Fighting Jig on that guy, okay. The good thing about this is when they knock out this Trubbish, we'll get it back into our hand because the Rescue Scarf, we can then put the EXP share on this guy. So that way, that way they knock out this Trubbish, we have another one ready to go. Uh, there's a Hypnotoxic Laser. So no, that will knock us out now. He needed the laser. Oh, uh, we were yeah, we were going to make it, but now the laser is going to sell it out. There's a Hammerhead, and the Hammerhead are probably going on this guy as well. Take a double knockout. Wow, this makes it where it, the energy is not going to be moved now because we are not getting tat We're not getting hurt. We're not getting knocked out by damage from an attack. We're getting knocked out by the laser effect. Uh, but let's see. My opponent... Okay, nope. 30 damage on that guy. Uh, that's definitely the correct play. But the, sil the, uh, the EXP share does not activate because damage from an opponent's attack. We're getting knocked out by the poison damage, unfortunately. Uh, so there's a poison damage coming down. We will not get that psych energy, and we do wake up, but... We get knocked out through poison. So opponent will go down to four. Price guards. Alrighty. So we're going to send up the Trubbish. Of course. Uh, we'll put down the other Trubbish. And we'll see what happens. On to our turn. We get a Psychic Energy. Perfect top deck. So Trubbish. Psychic Energy. Uh, well, Random Receiver. Uh, there's an end, which is what we kind of needed. So we could kind of disrupt my opponent just a little bit. Put down the Siglev. We will play in... Uh, let's Magnetic Draw for two first. Okay, there's a Psych Energy. Okay, that's really not what we needed. We'll play it in, and let's see what do we get off the end. Can we find more tools or not? There's a Junk Arm, EXP Share, Rescue Scarf, okay. Um, so what we can do is we can EXP Share this guy. Um, Does EXP Share anybody else really matter? So I guess we can EXP Share going to the Sigilef. We will use Tool Reversal, first of all. We'll pick up the uh, this guy. We'll press done. We will rescue scarf the active. EXP share this guy. And we will tool drop and do 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, so 120. We're not even knocking out a guard chop right now, which is kind of unfortunate, but we will knock out this land doors. Go down to four price cards. My opponent can knock us out. They do hit the correct energy, so there is a super rod and a search kit, which is pretty too good. That's pretty good cards that we need. 
And here comes the guard drop on top on his turn. Now they do take a knockout. The Travis will once again return back into your hand. The psychic energy will be attached to this guy and this guy. And uh, we, sh we should be okay. There's a laser. Oh, man. That laser is actually going to... Once again, this laser stuff is going to ruin us. Because now my opponent is going to knock us out. We're not going to get an energy attachment from the knockout. So we're going to see a cut for 60. Poison for 30. Going to take a knockout. Oh, my goodness. And none of that gets returned into our hand. Because our opponent knocks us out with a poison. Wow. All right, so I guess we'll send up the Ziggler with nothing on it. So on our turn, we get a Professor Oak. So I'm going to Super Rod. I'm going to get back a Trubbish, Trubbish, and a Psychic Energy. Uh, maybe two Psychic Energies. Yeah, that seems fine. We'll Psychic Energy this guy, and we will end. Put it up on it down to three cards. I know they have four in a hand. They get the same amount, but maybe we could disrupt them just a little bit. Uh, we get another Trubbish. So what I'm going to do... Put the Trubbish down. Rescue Scarf. Uh, well, let's use Tool Reversal first uh, to pick up the EXP share. We'll press Done. We will Rescue Scarf this guy. EXP share this guy. And we'll Magnetic Draw for two. And let's see. What do we get? One and two. All right. There's a bike. Uh, we'll just pass for right now. And the question is, does my opponent have a blend energy to take a knockout this turn or another laser? They have played two lasers so far in one junk arm. All right. So let's see what my opponent has. There's a love ball. Let's see. Okay. It looks like they're not going to get anything, which I do like a lot. There's just a mock cut for 60. All right. So I do like this. The only thing that's scary is if my opponent has another laser. They could knock us out, and we won't have another attack for another turn. Hmm. Oh, man. What to do? What to do is the question. All right, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to play kind of safe. I'm going to tool reversal. Uh, pick up one, two, three. So I'm going to pick up these two guys. I'm going to press done. We are going to float stone, uh, retreat into the other Siglyph. Psychic energy on this guy. And we will uh, put down our tools somewhere. So put one here. Uh, we will EXP or shear this guy. And we'll silver mirror this guy as well. Alright, so we'll end our turn. Oh, it's my opponent's turn. So now next turn we could maybe knock out the guard job. If my opponent has a laser, we'll be a-okay. -A uh, so I think that was the best play we have for sure. But let's see, what does my opponent have? There's a fighting dragon on a guard job. We'll see another mock-up for 60. Okay, so... We gotta find an energy this turn. On to our turn, we get a psych energy. So there we go. So psych energy, this guy. We will not use that card. We, uh, I guess we can. Yeah, we'll we'll uh, magnetic draw for two first. And let's see, can we find another flow stone? There's a junk arm. Okay. We could junk arm. How many junk arms have we played? Uh, we played one so far. Nothing really in our discard policy. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, which is a knockout exactly. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to tool reversal, pick up a float stone, put the, uh, press done. We will float stone the active, free retreat into this trubbish. It'll take a knockout this turn. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, we'll total drop. For the knockout, the question is, does my opponent have another laser? Do they have a junk arm? Uh, looks like my opponent is kind of dead drawing. We'll go down to three price cards, and let's see what's going to happen. There is a silver bangle, so we can do, uh, we can take a knockout next turn if he does. Knockout our trubbish. So it's my opponent's turn. Going to draw a card. There's a super rod. Going to shuffle in three Pokemon and or, or energies. A Landorus fighting and fighting. Going back into my opponent's hand. Uh, that could be really bad for us. A Landorus uh, hammerhead could knock out these this Siglev with 60 on it. There's a mock cut for 60 though. We are still coming alive. We are going to make it. It seems like we go down to a junk arm. And I think I'm going to silver angle this guy. We are going to junk arm. Put and we're going to discard Siglyph and the Voltorb. And with this, I'm going to grab a Super Rod. And with the Super Rod, we're going to shuffle in some energies. Yeah, I think that's the best play right now. Uh, so we'll get two energies, one and two. Oh, we got to get somebody else. Uh, we'll grab another Trubbish. That seems fine. I'm trying to get the other Trubbish powered up, ready to go. Uh, we'll Magnetic Draw for two. You always want to Magnetic Draw first, so you can bike for one if needed. But there's a Psych Energy. We'll attach to this guy. Um... We haven't played our... Is there a life dude in the deck? That is the real question. Uh, let's Silver Angle one of these guys. We will bike for three. There's a Float Stone. Okay, we will Float Stone uh, one of these guys. We will Junk Arm, discard one and two. 
And with this, we're gonna get a, I guess another bicycle seems fine. Well, bike for four. I really don't want to play an N uh, or anything. I guess we could have played an Oak. There's an EXP sure. The love ball. Man, is our life due in the deck? That's my question. And life due is in the deck. We just didn't hit it. But we'll grab it, a Trubbish. And I think the play is to Tool Reversal. Uh, pick up this thing. Uh, pick up the Floatstone. We'll press Done. We will Floatstone the Active. Free Retreat into the other one. So like my opponent can't knock out this Trubbish uh, really easily. Uh, we will Tool Reversal again to pick up this EXP share. We'll press Done. Uh, we will Rescue Scarf the Active. And we'll put an EXP share on this guy. EXP share this guy, and we will total drop. This should be a knockout, and let's see how much damage we do. We are doing uh, 220 damage. That is a knockout, and the question is, can my opponent find anything or not? We'll go down to two price cards. There is a junk arm, which we could get a catcher to knock out of the landers if my opponent does put it down. Almost my opponent's turn. Let's see what's going to happen. There's a love ball. Looks like they're not going to get anything. There's another love ball. Not getting anything again. A Victini comes down and a Bianca to draw six cards, but we can knock out this Victini next turn if we flip heads on a catcher. How many junk arms have we played is my question. We have played three junk arms. There's a Tool Scrapper. Go to this card, Tool Tools on the field. Uh, does not really matter. Like, it kind of does, but we're going to be okay. I guess they can discard, like, EXP share, maybe the Rescue Scarf. Uh, let's see what they opt. To let's see what they decide to do. All right, so we can knock out this Victini. Victini is obviously for um, Versi and Genesect. It has intensify and burn 50, and if it's an EX, it does 50 more. And then uh, you know they're weak to. Um, oh, he took off two floatstones, so now we have no floatstones. Finally, there's a mock cut for 60. All right, so the question's going to be: Do we flip heads on this on this catcher? That's the that's the question. Let's see what happens. We're at a junk arm. This card, uh, Maskerin, and the Slack Energy. And we are going to go for a catcher. This is, this is going to matter a lot. If we flip heads, we win. If we don't, they could get out Landers and take a double knock on both these guys. So let's go catcher. And a head. So we'll bring up that Victini. We'll life do somebody. And we will toll drop for the knockout. Take a knockout on that Victini EX. My opponent had to put down the EX because they would have lost the game before the knockout. The Garchomp. And there's Tool Drop taking the win against the Landors Garchomp deck. It was kind of scary. Not going to lie. The uh, the lasers making it wear Rescue Scarf and EXP share not work. was kind of rough. But hey, we did it. Take another prize card. Out. We took another mystery prize as well. Wow, that was a pretty, pretty close game, and we did pull it off, so I am very happy for that. But there you go, there is Tool Drop. It's been a lot of fun playing this deck, you can see how strong it is. We kind of did struggle in the start, but hey, we made it through. Let's press done, and let's see what is our gift. It looks like just one turn of ticket, but hopefully you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching, have a great Wednesday. Alrighty, bye. Alright guys, just want to give a quick shout out to our two sponsors, 60 Cards and Yeti Gaming. The links are down below to their websites, make sure you go check them out. Alrighty.